Jensen Harris here with the final play on the Just Good Network. You have to love the way the Hawks closed out game four of the semifinals against the Sixers. Look, I said they needed to stop Joel Embiid. They did that. Joel Embiid 0 for 12 in the second half. He, he was terrible. He wasn't able to get going. Look, Clint Capella and both John Collins, specifically John Collins, I got to be proud of, only had 14 points, but he made a bunch of great defensive plays. He brought the pressure towards the Sixers. This was a team in the Hawks that was resilient. They were down 18 points, 18 points at one point in this ball game. They came back. They punched the Sixers in the mouth. They hit some clutch shots. Most importantly, towards the end of the game, in the fourth quarter, they were able to get the stops they needed. They doubled Joel Embiid. They made things hard. Ben Simmons wasn't able to make plays. The Sixers team was shooting up three-pointers and missing. The Hawks' defense in the fourth quarter was amazing. It was amazing. Not even allowing 20 points from a Sixers team that was dominated. They dominated the Hawks in the second in game two, they dominated the Hawks in game three. Look, if the Hawks want to win this series, it, it was clutch that they won game four, which evens them up. In game five, they need to come out on fire. They need to come out with a lead. But most importantly, fourth quarter defense. And since hiring Nate McMillan, this team in the fourth quarter has been great on defense. They're going to have to continue that if they want to upset the Sixers, who many consider the favorites in the East to get to the NBA Finals. I'm Jansen Harris here with the final play on the Just Good Network. We are sponsored by Your Future Media. For all media purposes, visit Your Future Media.